Hello guys, uh, Peggy Magic here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating a wormhole in Blender, Unity, and GIMP. Those are the required um, game pro programs that you need to create uh, this wormhole. So yeah, let's just start. Uh, I'll be putting a link for the programs in the description. So just start because this is going to be a bit longer tutorial. So op first, open up Blender. And so we can create the model of this uh, wormhole. So uh, this is the starting scene, but we don't need any of these things. So press B and drag it up to select all of them and X to delete them. X delete. So now Shift A together, hold Shift and A together, and uh, bring this add menu over here and press Mesh and select the circle. Now go to edit mode and also press B to select the entire thing. Press E to extrude on the Z axis and bring it back up. So this is what we get and now go to tools uh, menu over here and select the loop cut and slide tool and uh, double click it on the middle. And now go to the middle of the of the screen and uh, to bring this uh, arrow up and right click it and split the area. Okay, so when you split the area, this should uh, happen. It split the entire screen and select this from this cube 3D view to UV image editor view. Now we're going to select the entire, uh, the entire hole of ours and Press B to select the entire thing and this to trans so we can select through transparent faces, faces and U to bring this UV mapping um, UV mapping menu up and go select cylinder projection. So this should appear and in this menu over here select this to select the whole so we can move the whole thing around. So position it in the middle and scale it down. So when you get it about in the middle and there's a bit of empty space around it, press uh, select, press new to create a new image, OK, black image, and go to this little camera here for rendering scenes and that kind of stuff, and go to bake and ambient occlusion and bake it. Uh, now when you have that done, we're gonna save the file first. Go to file, save as. We're gonna go with whole, whatever you want, save blender file and file export it to as FBX to whatever project you have and where you have it. I have it under documents and it's named tutorial 1 under assets and just export your FBX. Now save the image, go to image, pack as PNG and first save the image. I'm going to save it under the desktop. I'm going to name it whole UV. So that's quite we're well, quite fast. So yeah, well, we can calm down a bit. And um, when you save the image, you can save the file again just in case and uh, close down Blender. But first, we have to go to object mode and smooth this cylinder up. So uh, shading under the tools smooth, and now you can export it again. FBX to as whole export the FBX to your project and save it again. Okay, sorry for that. Now close it down. Now we can open up GIMP to edit our UV image. Edit UV image. So uh, if you don't have GIMP, I'll be putting the link in the description. It's a great program for editing images, just like Blender for making models. So bring the whole uh, first. Let me just. Okay, if you don't have this, I'll just close this up. Uh, if you just have a blank scene, go to uh, Tools, New Toolbox, and Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Layers. And now drag the whole V from wherever you have it to GIMP. Or just open it up, File, Open. Now when you have that done, you can go to under the Toolbox and double click the Paintbrush and select the brush with these sparks. And we're going to size it up a bit. 
and Sedax prefer you near minus 16, minus 18. Okay, so this is quite okay, and we're gonna paint it over this thing. You can control dot E to invert it, select thing, and you can now just paint it over. Control E to invert it, and now you can paint only in the select area, or you don't need to do that, but I just made it. Control E, remember it to invert, so you can only paint in the select area. So when you're pleased with that, just go to uh, colors and colorize the entire thing. Uh, I'm just going to leave it like this. It's good enough for me. Okay. And now uh, we're going to create another layer. So select this layer and right click it. New layer. And transparency. So we're going to paint it over again just on the spot where there's no uh, much sparks. When you think it's good enough, just go and colorize it again. Colorize. I'm going to make it a bit purple. Stretch a bit up. And this a bit down. Okay. I'm pleased with that. And I'm going to press OK. I'm going to save the file. Save, save as whole UV, ok, save and file export as whole UV and gonna replace it. Now we're gonna open up our last program but not least Unity in which the magic will happen. So open up the tutorial 1 or whatever project you have and wherever you exported our whole. So when it opens up, it should open up. It should open up. Please, can you just open up? Oh my god. Okay. Come on. Open up. Oh my. Every. I'm just gonna close. Uh, I'm just gonna pause it when it opens up. Okay. The thing just opened up when I paused the video. Amazing. Okay. So now this is our scene, and we're just going. To bring our hole into it, just, just drag the hole from wherever you have it. I have it under assets. I'm gonna drag it in, and under assets, I also wanna drag our UV map. So just go wherever you have it and just drag it in, and drag it onto your object. So when you have that done, uh, we're going to set the shader from standard. The particles, you could set it to uh, diffuse or anything. I want to go to particles and additive, so it's a bit very light. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate it and make it uh, duplicate it a lot of times and make it look bigger. But it will be just a hole made out of a lot of pieces of this thing, <laughs> so it's very light thing. And yeah, I'll be back when I duplicate it a lot more and make this thing uh, giant, gigantic. We won't be using uh, a script like I used it in the endless runner tutorial. I'll be just make a, I'll be just making a giant path. So I'll close, uh, I'll pause it up. And I'm back, and I think this hole is deep enough to make a camera to go down through it and make it look like we're going through a wormhole. So go to game object create a camera and place it just over the uh, just above the hole and set the rotation on the X to 90 so it's facing down the hole and set it put it in the hole 
and uh, make it uh, fit right into it. So when you're done with that, uh, we're gonna add a script to it. So new script. I'm gonna name this one vh, and we're gonna open it up in one of develop to create the script. So delete the start function and program script, and we're gonna and the function update. Just make a few lines more in the variables. We're gonna create a variable variable speed. We're gonna name it which is float and it equals to 0 0.3 I guess so we could by float we mean that it can use uh, not only full numbers so uh, we're going to transfer the position transform dot dot I guess we have to make it to go down so what changes when you make it go down it changes y and it decreases so we have to change the y and we have to decrease it by speed so now we can save it save and close and when we play the scene we're going down the hole, but we have to do a few image effects more. And let's change the background to black, not entire black, just a bit more, a bit darker. And if you play, I think it looks a bit better. I'm gonna change it to pure black. Okay, now I'm going to add a bit of fog so we don't see the end of the. Uh, of the hole, so go to window and lightning, and we're going to enable fog. And we're gonna, you know, make it a bit more of this fog. Okay, so uh, let me just change the. We could change the shader from standard to particles and additive looks a bit better right okay uh, I didn't change that I forgot to and if you play now it looks a bit better I think it looks quite better and yeah it looks it looks okay you know simple wormhole and under we could set this a bit higher I guess so it's more of a hole that has no end. Yes, that's what we want. Right. You could uh, put a few lights in there so it's a bit more interesting. And you could randomize the pattern by... Uh, okay, you could use a script that I uh, f included in the runners tutorials. Endless runner, I'll be including the link to the tutorial in the description. So you can uh, combine that one hole with, with that script so because it, it randomizes. Uh, the tiles and it's it should work pretty well with these two and now I just want to save the scene I'll save scene I'm gonna name it wormhole save it and I'm just going to uh, quit unity I'm just not going to quit I'm just going to close down unity and that's the simple wormhole I've been talking about and uh, I th hope you like it and not everybody likes it not probably everybody will like it, but if you find it uh, educating and uh, that it helped you, please uh, leave a comment, uh, leave a like, and subscribe. Bye.